Respect can be one of the most important aspects of a relationship, whether it's respecting yourself or others. As defined by Oxford Languages, respect is defined as due regard for the feelings, wishes, rights, or traditions of others. If you often feel like you're being used, taken advantage of, ignored, or taken less seriously, you may feel like you're not getting any respect these days. Want to know how to command respect like others do? If so, keep watching for six psychologically proven ways to get more respect. Look him dead in the eye. Do you look everywhere but into the eyes of the person you're talking to? Holding someone's gaze is a key way to convey mutual respect. According to psychologist Dr. Erin Etoff, looking someone in the eye shows them that you think they are important. In addition, researchers at the University of British Columbia found that eye contact can make you more resistant to tactics of persuasion and influence. This means that you're more likely to stand your own ground rather than fall under the influence of others. The next time you talk with somebody, try to give them some eye contact as they speak. You might feel an increased sense of closeness that will command yourself some respect. Perfection Objection To command respect, you might think that you need to hide any of your weaknesses or flaws as much as possible and put on a facade. After all, what else can make you seem less worthy of respect and praise than making a mistake? But <laughs> the reality is often quite the opposite. In 1966, Harvard psychologist Elliot Aronson discovered the pratfall effect. This type of bias showed that the people considered superior by others tended to be more likable or attractive when showing weakness. In one of Aronson's experiments, this weakness took the form of an everyday blunder, such as spilling coffee over oneself. This small mistake humanized people who seemed to be superior, like managers, teachers, or parents, and thus made them more likable. Let's be honest, who doesn't love a good blooper reel at the end of a show or movie? It's kind of nice to know perfect people mess up too, right? Dress to impress. Let's say you're on a first date with somebody at a nice restaurant. Your date comes in and they're wearing a t-shirt, jeans, and aren't bathed. Does this seem like a good first impression to you? What would you think of your dates if they came groomed, well-dressed, bathed, and put together instead? Probably seems a lot more likable, right? These are first impressions. They are almost always the first indicator of whether you'll like or be liked by someone. While natural looks are out of your control, the way you dress isn't. How you dress can give you the opportunity to change others' impressions of you. Clothes can also be a way to boost confidence and a manner of self-expression that can help you command respect. According to researcher Kim Johnson of the University of Minnesota, our behavior in respect to other people is influenced by the person's dress and the meaning we associate with that dress. While most make the mistake of dressing to blend in with others to avoid being judged, try dressing in a way that makes you stand out with your personal charm. This may include choosing a unique style, wearing clothes that accentuate the beauty of your body type, and dressing in a way that makes you feel more self-confident. So, if you want to command more respect, try dressing in a way that you think would do so. But don't forget to still be you. Respond. Don't react. Have you ever seen a news headline and got immediately angry? Everyone has had a strong feeling before. However, this can be something that causes people to not respect you. According to Mayo Clinic, those who can maintain personal composure during times of stress or excitement are able to be more assertive and often more respected and likable. Being assertive can help boost self-esteem and earn the respect of others. Asserting yourself means upping your confidence and standing your ground without being too aggressive or emotional. Overwhelming feelings can obstruct conflict resolution. Showing others that you're able to be firm and confident while being calm can garner respect. If you're too aggressive, you might seem like a bully that ignores the needs of others and is self-righteous. 
You don't want to be someone explosive, like Bakugo from My Hero Academia, which can get in the way of problem solving. But you also don't want to be too passive and allow others to walk all over you. Smile and nod. Do you know someone who talks on and on and on? When you finally get the chance to speak, do they interrupt you to talk about themselves or ignore what you say and divert the topic back to them? Would you respect someone who doesn't give you respect? Probably not. To create mutual respect, the thoughts and opinions of everybody should be acknowledged. In many circumstances, people often do not concentrate on what is being said. They just listen just to listen. According to the Professor of Cross-Cultural Management in the University of Berlin, Dr. Marie-Therese Kleis, keeping an open mind and listening deeply is a sign of respect. Doing so can make others feel that they and their beliefs are valued and well thought of, which can cause them to reciprocate the respect and attention. You can show you're an active listener by paraphrasing and validating their words or asking relevant questions, which will make them feel heard and understood. Remember that commanding respect always involves giving respect to others too. Sometimes you'll meet some people who simply are unwilling to reciprocate respect, no matter the circumstance. We cannot change others or their actions. In those cases, it might be best to limit how much you're with these types of people. Remember, respect should always be a mutual thing between two people. Your mental health should be a priority. You are worthy of respect. We hope you can use some of these tricks to help you command respect in your life. As always, please subscribe to us for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, Psych2Goers.